PowerPoint 2013 Embedding an Interactive Pivot Table with Slicer into a PowerPoint presentation. Here we have a sample of a pivot table with a slicer within our PowerPoint presentation. Let's take a look at how this works for us in our presentation. We're going to run the slideshow. If you've ever given a presentation with this type of data in it, you may have come across where audience members will ask, what does the table totals look like when all of the filter objects are selected? Well, in this case, we can take a look at it immediately during the presentation. We simply click on the table. We'll expand it a little bit here. We'll move it off to the side so we can see it working. And then we can select right here from our slicer. Our slicer is a floating filter. So if we select all the items, we can see that it automatically applies to our presentation. From there, we simply close this down and we can continue on in our presentation. Let's take a look at how we created this. We'll come to our second slide here. Now let's take a look at how we built that. We'll first need to go to our Excel worksheet and copy our data. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. We're going to select the area that we want to copy and then click copy. We'll then come to our PowerPoint presentation. From here we'll go to our home tab and click the paste drop down and choose paste special. We're going to choose paste a link, Excel worksheet object, and click OK. Here's our Excel pivot table with slicer. We're going to size this out just a little bit, place it on our worksheet. We will then go to our animations tab and this is an important part here. We, if we don't do this part here we won't be able to edit this within our presentation. So we'll go down to our OLE action verbs and click this. OLE happens to stand for object linking and embedding. So from here we'll click edit and click OK. We'll see that it's applied here and now we'll be able to edit this during our presentation. Let's take a look. I'm going to run the presentation. Now if we click on this one time it simply opens our pivot table within our Excel worksheet. From here we can modify our filters as we see fit. We'll choose the first three here and we'll see that it automatically dynamically applies. If we choose just square, we'll see those totals as well. From there, we simply close this down. Do we want to say changes? No. There you have it. This concludes PowerPoint 2013 embedding a dynamic, interactive pivot table within our presentation. Thanks for joining me. And remember, try and share your knowledge with as many people who are willing to learn. Take care.